celebrating the 20th anniversary of the new WARF, Wilkes-Barre Scranton's number one station for 20 straight years. This is WARM First News First, Harold McNally reporting. While the two men charged with murder and the death of Olga Burns in Wilkes-Barre today pleaded guilty to third-degree murder in a plea bargaining agreement. Entering the plea is Robert Hammond, 23 years old. He has agreed to testify against the other suspect, Francis Hammond. Closing arguments being heard today in the murder trial of Robert Lavarati in Scranton. He's charged with third-degree murder and the beating death of his wife last January. A man from Wilkesbury was killed last night when his car plowed into an embankment and flipped over along Route 115 east of Bear Creek in Buck Township. Dead is Paul Frisch, 27 years old, South Empire Street, Wilkesbury. The seventh suspicious fire in the past three weeks in the Newton Lake area happened last night. The fire damaged a barn on the Martin Carpenter Farm along Route 247. And before the warm weather, for as little as 60 cents a day, you can have the convenience and security of a personal pocket pager from Commonwealth Telephone Company. When someone needs to reach you in a hurry, you're just a telephone call away, anywhere within the 259 square mile coverage area of Commonwealth Telephone Company's personal radio paging service. That's why Commonwealth calls it the People Finder. Now there's no reason to be out of touch with your home or your office, your boss, or your babysitter. There's no need to wait until the end of the day to receive messages. Your personal radio pager gets messages to you as they come in. No need to check in periodically now. For complete information, call a communications specialist at 675-5227. That's the People Finder, wide area personal radio paging service from Commonwealth Telephone Company. Call today, 675-5227. Here's the one exclusive Aggie weather forecast for Wilkes Barre, Scranton, and the Poconos. An atmospheric disturbance crossing overhead right now is responsible for the clouds in the area. But by tonight, we expect that disturbance to be well to our east. We may set off a shower, a thunder shower this afternoon, but no widespread rain is likely. It appears that tomorrow will be a very fine day with loads of sunshine and temperatures heading for the 80 degree mark. Wednesday may be a different story. Another atmospheric disturbance presently over New Mexico is expected to swing into it, and that will start a downward swing on our weather. Look for clouds to be thickening Wednesday. Sometime during Wednesday night, there will probably be some rain around. That's too bad because it means the weather may get us a midweek rain around. Now we got rain back to weather. Intervals of clouds and sunshine this afternoon with a couple of showers in the area. The high 73. Becoming clear tonight, the low 50. Tomorrow, sunny, a little bit warmer in the afternoon. The high 78. Wednesday, some sunshine with increasing climate. The high 78. For Acu Weather, this is meteorologist Joe Bastardi. Most temperature 70 degrees and Scranton 68. That's first news first. I'm Terrell McCullough.